What's up everybody, this is Reese here from C Manga and welcome to my review of Fairy Tale Chapter 406, The Girl in the Crystal. So, you know what, when Mod gets serious, he gets serious. It's like this battle has now like entered the kind of overwhelming overwhelmed by boss stage. So, first thing, obviously we get the full update with what's going on with everyone else. Um, you know, you got Elfman and his team, they finally defeated all the Lammy clones, um, and they also met out with Lucy, which was like okay. Lucy's obviously stayed behind because she's been injured. Um, Gajil, Levy and Juvia they are now en route to Paleska to obviously deliver the Peace of Tempest so they can obviously heal Luxus and the other Raijins but it's kind of like wow they just left Lucy there on her ones you know considering how she gets injured and stuff anyone could come out of anywhere and like, take her out so that's a bit kind of surprising you know obviously they had Juvia with her because she's pretty much out for the count but still you know it's kind of like anything could come out like a little minion could come out and take and fight her or something but either way, anyway, other than that, obviously you've got Grey, he's obviously still making his way to the battlefield. I have no idea where the hell he is. I would have thought he'd be there by now. Um, and also, Wendy has finally met back up with the gang. So that's pretty much like obviously all the kind of catch up boring stuff out of the way. So let's go into the main part of this chapter, which is obviously the part which everyone cares about, which is Mars kicking ass. So seriously, I swear, this guy's power boost is freaking amazing. You know, it's like, you know, you think, what? The three dragon slayers, they're just like, you know, starting to get an upper hand. It's like, yeah, we've got this. They're finally getting somewhere. Then Mod, he basically just like calls upon the power of sitting down like a badass and just bitch slaps him about. It's like, yeah, he essentially just like summons up his chair. He sits back, just like, yep, I am super pissed off right now. And I am now going to screw, I'm now going to screw you guys over. <laughs> so seriously, he's just like sitting back in style, just literally laying the smack down on everybody else. See, so yeah, obviously during this chapter, um, I'm just here thinking... Okay, so now Mars got a super power boost. When they're gonna show him that, like, the, you know, the power of love and friendship can overpower his anger, and that surprised me actually that it just did not occur in this chapter. I was expecting, you know, like obviously because of how it went last chapter, you know, Mars is probably gonna be like, yeah, I've got the you guys are really making me angry. I'm gonna show you what my true power is, and then obviously power of friendship's like, yeah, well you can't beat our power uh, to combine power together, and blam, they're gonna just like defeat him, and he's like, oh my gosh, how could I have been beaten so quickly? That type of shit. But no, it's really surprising. You know, you got nuts who comes in full blast, ready to go, like, you know, with a spear attack. You know, Mod blocks that. And the next thing, he uses his Fire Dragon Roar to kind of give some extra thrust and power, you know, try and knock him off his perch. But no, it did nothing. It was an epic effort, but nothing, man. It's like, he just pushed him off like he was, not, like, it's like, yeah, get lost. Then you got obviously Sting and Rogue. They're coming off with their little combo attack, combining their light and shadow powers together. You'd think, yeah, this is the one which is going to, like, you know, finish the job. It's like Nuts was just a little, a little distraction. But no, Mar just grabbed it, absorbed the attack, and it's like, yep, that's it. So like, if we would have blocked it, I would have been like, yeah, I saw that one coming. But no, the fact is, it just absorbed it into him. And then obviously, you're thinking, okay, this is going to be the distraction now, since how you see Nuts coming flying down from above with his whole fire lightning dragon combo. But no, again, Mar just, like, literally turns the other cheek second that hits him, absorbs it, and then flings Nuts away. It's just like, wow, this guy is super OP right now. He's just bitch slapping everyone. But, you know, seeing as how this is the fairy, this is fairy tale, and in true fairy tale fashion, Natsu always wins. You know, like from somewhere he gets a power boost. So I'm sticking to my guns here with the whole theory that Natsu's going to literally absorb um, Sting and Rogue's power, put them all together, and then, like, literally just, you know, Natsu the Rainbow Dragon Slayer is going to just bitch slap Marge into nothingness. And then obviously then we're going to get the whole final what the hell's going on with end who the hell is he what is he is he going to emerge from the book what does he need to emerge from the book all that stuff so yeah um i guess the final thing that happened is well we finally get to see what the chapter's namesake is lumen historia is essentially the first the first master mavis she's chapter in crystal so so what the hell is going on there that really did take me by surprise i was thinking that you know, the whole Lumen Historia thing is going to be some sort of super light cannon which all the fairy tale are going to put their magic power into and it's going to wipe out all the face. But the fact that it's Master Mavis, it's like, what the hell? So her body's there, her spirit, we've seen her spirit obviously like, you know, during the whole tournament saga, so what bloody significance does this hold now? How did she get in that crystal, for one? And for two, what is her super, what's the power of her being in that crystal? What's going to happen? I was under the impression that she was dead, you know, didn't they bury her and everything? That's what the whole um, island's all about. So, yeah, what significance is this going to play into the future of fairy tale? So, I guess all these questions and, well, all the countless others, hopefully will be answered within due time. Especially the whole, like, what the hell's going on with the dragons, you see? It's like, 
fairy tale instead of answering questions they're just raising some more at the moment but this chapter here i gotta say i was actually really happy with it it didn't kind of conform to true fairy tale fashion you know big boss gets a super power boost and they just take him out straight away so instead they're going to finally prolong that a little hopefully we'll get a bit more i don't know story development with what's going like you know mod because i actually do like him as a character so i'm hoping we get a little more character development in him and he's not just going to be slapped away kind of like the rest of the freaking um demons so yeah um i enjoyed this chapter but obviously what did you guys think let me know in the comment section below and as usual don't forget to check out the other things to do on the channel so i'll see you next time